Hey guys, KP Jax here. So today we're going to take a look at an app. Uh, the app that we're reviewing today is the My Remote app. And it's on Android, it's not on iOS. Um, I'm sure we'll review you know, some iOS apps down the road, but I'm an Android fan, so that's what I'm going to talk about right now. Uh, this app is pretty cool. Uh, really, it, it can really access a couple different features of your computer. Um, and the reason I use this is because I get asked all the time about, you know, which remote app, um, not which remote app, but what, what can I do to remotely control, uh, my laptop or my PC? You know, I have a presentation I have to give, uh, with PowerPoint and my laptop's going to be at the other end of the conference table and I can't sit there and click it. What can I use? Uh, well, if you have Wi-Fi or even a, a wired network, um, and you need to connect to it, you can use my remote. And uh, you know what also access is uh, Windows Media Center. Uh, it can also access your music. Uh, it can access a TV tuner card also through Windows Media Center. And it can even act as a mouse. So you can actually scroll around with your mouse. Uh, let's say, you know, let's say you have Chromecast and your laptop is hooked up to your TV and you're tired of getting up, you know, back and forth to the, uh, to the TV to click a mouse button. Uh, you can just use my remote. Um... So let's take a look at it and let's see how it runs. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to go to the Google Play Store uh, online. So um, you can actually install the app. Um, you can either click on install, choose your phone or your tablet and install it, or you can go directly to the Google Play Store on your phone and do it. Um, but what's important is following this link here, and I'll post it at the bottom, which takes you to the My Remote website. It's one page, not a lot of information, but there is a download link which basically downloads the server software to your computer. You click on it, you run it, it installs, it's pretty quick, um, not a whole lot to it, just decide on where you want to put it. I always have a default for me to change where I want to put files since I run different drives and things like that on my machine. Now, once the program downloads, you're going to see a green icon appear on your desktop. And it's just a My Remote program, and there's no configuration. Um, all you're going to get once you run it is uh, you'll get the little My Remote program, and it'll pop up down there in your uh, running taskbar down there by your clock. Uh, if you right-click on it, it will give you the IP address of your machine, which you'll have to note for the workstation. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do on our tablet is actually install the program. So you're going to go to the Google App Store, type in My Remote, and download it. It's going to take just a minute. And um, the cool thing about this, it doesn't need uh, access to a whole lot of your stuff. Um, so we're going to run the program. It's going to pop open. And what you need to know, really, the, the one piece of information that you need to know on this is the IP address of your home computer. And if you're not sure how to get that, you can either uh, double-click on the little uh, network icon down at the bottom right of your PC. I'm not sure about a Mac, but your PC, and it should give you the IP address. Or if you're old school, you can go to Start, Run, go to your command box, and type IP config and hit enter and it will bring up your IP address. Once you know that, you're going to go over here to your settings. Right here, settings. And it's going to ask you about your IP information and a little bit about mouse information. Mine, that's my address. So this is the remote control. You have several different options. You have sound up, sound down. You can upload pictures, you can use it as a mouse, um, you can toggle between pages, um, you can record if you have like a DVR function. So we're going to take a look at the mouse function real quick, it's pretty simple. I'm sure you can see my mouse just going across the screen there. You double click, you can do different things. Or you can type in commands if you happen to know what they are. That kind of thing. 
but we don't want that. What we want to do is we want to watch, figure out how to watch movies and look at pictures. So we're going to choose the Windows Media app here. Now, I'm not a big um, fan of Windows Media. Um, I stream other ways. We have a smart TV, and we stream through the network that way. But this is this is a nifty little toy if you just have your computer hooked up to the TV. So you can either go look at your library, music if you have it in there, pictures and videos. We're going to go check out movies. And so Windows Media is going to scan your computer and try to find you know, different uh, different movies that you have. And uh, you can even go into the Windows Media and um, tell it, you know, where your movies are. So we're going to skip around, go around a few pages. Maybe switch to the mouse. Yeah, check out, you know, we can watch all kinds of stuff. What's What do we have in here? Log on to TeamBeachBody.com and enter your workout into Wowie to find a workout buddy and a chance to win up to 1,000. I'm going to go... And you can use this back button right here to go back. And I'll also show you this. This is just on my tablet, so I can record it on a big screen. You can also minimize and maximize. And while it's playing, we'll go back in there. And you can also raise the volume or lower the volume. It's already raised all the way up. David knew there was something wrong the second he saw that bar of soap. There was no way in the world these undead things had made that. They may have figured out. You have an option to tab through things. Go back to the home screen. So now let's take a look at the app on my Galaxy S3. Um, so this is the, the main desktop. You get a little My Remote icon. Once you open the app, everything's on one screen. The only setting that you really need to change, or that you really can change, is the IP address of the server. So this uh, company actually kept this thing pretty simple. Kind of... Uh, well, I used to be in the Navy, so kind of a sailor proof, as, as we would say. So you can track it with your mouse. 
you know, it's got like a little mouse pad and then you can double click to open up files or, you know, different things like that. You can also use the back arrow to go back a folder or up a level. Um, and then you can launch Windows Media Player directly from the app as well, uh, which is kind of a nice feature, not having to go and find it on your desktop or anything like that. It opens right up. Uh, there's arrows and an OK button, kind of like your uh, everyday remote for the most part. And then what you can do is you can just scroll through your videos that you're looking for, find one, and hit play. Once you play your video, you have the option, just like uh, your standard remote, you have a fast forward, you have rewind, you can pause, you can stop, um, you can turn the volume up, you can turn the volume down. You just don't hear it on my thing because I have my speakers turned down. If you hit the Windows Media Center again, it takes you back to your home. You can stop the movie. That would take you back to your uh, main screen and go back. And then you can, uh, uh, if you wanted to control a DVR, there's three different options up at the top uh, that can access HD tuner cards. But I don't have any, so we're gonna we're not gonna really pay that much attention to that. Right now. The next option we have is to uh, go and take a look at our pictures through Windows Media Center. These are just a few that I've done. Uh, we'll just click through them real quick just so we can kind of get an idea of, of how it controls them. You know, clicking left and right, hitting OK, choosing a picture, and going through the different pictures like that. It's very simple, very quick. There's very little lag time from the time that you actually hit the button. Um, to, you know, when it goes to the next picture. Next, we're going to take a look at PowerPoint. And I'm using my tablet. Uh, I could easily use my phone, but I'm using my tablet just because uh, it fits better on the screen. So this is PowerPoint 2013. Um, I just ran it. I have the, the presentation actually playing on the right screen and the uh, presenter's information on the left screen. And as you can see, as I click left and right, uh, it is very responsive, very quick. Um, you can use the mouse if you need to draw on the screen. You know, you can see they're moving on the left, moving over to the right, and back and forth. You can write on the screen. You can do pretty much uh, whatever you could with the mouse. So it's a very responsive program, uh, very quick and simple to use. And uh, that's it about PowerPoint. It's it's once you've used it, it's, it's very simple, and you don't necessarily have to have a specific remote that you've purchased separately, which is just something else to get lost. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for taking the time to check me out. I hope you guys like this review, and I hope uh, you'll be able to use the My Remote app for your Android devices uh, to maybe uh, help your productivity. Like, comment below, and uh, let me know. Make sure that you guys like, subscribe, comment, and share. See you guys later.